guys, I am Annabelle, and this is my tiny house. I started building it about two years ago, and I've been wanting to build it for another about year and a half. Um, basically, I wanted to just kind of talk mostly about my decision to insulate from the bottom. Um, I'm going to show you that, but first... I'm going to give you a little overview because everyone always complains. I do have full tours on my YouTube channel, which you can find. I will link them below. But here is kind of what it looks like as of uh, May 21st. Alright, so over there is the kitchen area. And then move this way and there's a little bit of storage. As some of you may know, my clothing has changed a little bit. I have gained maybe like seven items, so I might have like 42 items of clothing now. So I got rid of the bas- I didn't get rid of it. The basket that had all my clothes rolled up in it before is right there. But for now, I'm leaving it like this. I'm going to downsize again soon so that I can use the basket again. Here are my stairs. They are four petals welded onto a- that's a ding from flying my drone in the tiny house. Not the best idea. So there's one, two, three, four, and it's attached there at the loft, and it's attached at the floor, and then the pole just goes all the way to the top, and it's not connected up there. I have a wood burning stove that I didn't end up using for the majority of the winter because it was blowing into my neighbor's house, so that's not okay that's what it looks like on the inside and it was super cute and I love the ambiance um, once this tiny house moves maybe I don't know when um, I will be able to use this stove again and I've just kept the wood there because it looks kind of cool behind me where I was is the living room area it used to have another pillow but it's up in my loft now Moving back this way and through here, this is my sink. Sink is not hooked up right now because I haven't bought the hot water heater as well as it will have to move to be tested. Uh, here's the shower. Um, yeah, that's just kind of rustic plumbing there. Um, as most of you know, I knew nothing about building before I built this, so that's why you will see many things that maybe you might not do. Over here is just a little place where I'm gonna keep the toilet ro paper rolls and my towels, two pieces of art, and here will be where the composting toilet will be. So if we look down this way, that is what it looks like. Now I'm going to go up these stairs and show you what it looks like. So, here is my loft. Nothing really has changed much. I have a little heater right here for the winter time. Um, and that's all I'm going to add to this video because I have a full tour already, but everyone always asks. So, I'm going to go outside and show you guys the underneath of the trailer. Here we are outside. Also, my tiny house loft is on the hitch side of the house and it is about a eight, maybe, no, six inch slant on the roof. Okay, so we're gonna look under here. I have a ton of junk under there and it's a complete mess. As you can see, I've stored wood under there and more foam and such things because first of all I thought it was a smarter choice and I also thought it would give me more headspace which was really something I wanted to consider because tiny houses can feel super small depending on how you uh, design it and I think I've I'm super happy with all the decisions I've made um, definitely throughout the winter I need to get a trailer skirt. I knew that, but I wasn't going to be um, 
picky this year, so I was perfectly fine just spending the majority of my winter up in my loft with the little heater. Um, but I will need a trailer skirt because it's not as insulated as some tiny house floors are, but I value the decision to do that more than um, building the floor on top and losing probably, I don't know, eight inches, maybe between five and eight inches of height, which makes a huge difference when you're talking about, you know, such a small house. I think that is it. This is what it looks like from far away. So if you guys have any more questions about my house, you may leave them below, but also check out, I have tons of tiny house videos, tons meaning probably like 70 videos, I'm not sure, um, but I've documented almost the entire build. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and don't forget to check out my website, livinglifefruitfully.com, and for my apparel, bemorebadass.com, it is also linked, so if you go to Living Life Fruitfully, you can get to my apparel. Go ahead and subscribe if you want. You can like this video, comment, do whatever you want, and I will see you very soon.